All right, everyone, as promised, we're going to open up the um, Foot Locker, the Army Foot Locker. And this one is, I can't really tell the age, but it's, it's, it's got some age to it, I can, I can tell. And it does say military on it, so I imagine that's what it's from. So let's find out what's in. Well, it doesn't look like they stored a lot of real valuable things in here, but let's see what we got anyway. All right, we got a stainless steel, made in Korea. And here's another one. Now here's some uh, ginseng. Oh, it's empty. Could use some ginseng. <laughs> Okay, it goes with that. And there's a couple, another couple of interesting things in here. There's a, some kind of a pipe. It's damaged though. It's too bad. It's pretty ugly. <laughs> we'll put that aside. And then there's this tray. It was on top of this. I don't know if that's if it's a cover. If they're supposed to go together, but it'd be a standalone tray. Here's a Zippo. These things will work no matter what. They pulled them out of sharks' mouths before, and they'll still light right up. This one probably would need fuel. Yeah, it needs fuel still. And we have to return personal stuff to people. Someone went to Marshall University. So, last night, oh, looks like someone was into some. Uh, Illegal drugs, perhaps? Looks like it. Especially since uh, the fuel canister says uh, hippie crack on it. <laughs> hippie crack. <laughs> the sun was doing something they shouldn't have been doing here. All right, here's a set of speakers. Oh, actually, I had a set of these at work. They're all Peck Lansing's. They're good, good brand if they work. Worth keeping around or selling. Put this aside here. Just a couple of satellite speakers. And, oh, there's somebody's picture. We have to return that. This is now this is interesting. This is how you're supposed to pack your Foot locker and it tells you exactly right here where the number one is the raincoat, the tent pins, the tent poles, and numbers everything exactly how it's supposed to be laid out in here. So it's a diagram for it. And there's another one, I just saw that at the at the lid on the lid. It's taped right up there. So this probably was up on top before. It tells the soldier exactly how they're supposed to pack their gear in their foot locker. Um uh oh, these are assorted microorganisms. I don't know if I want to open that up and start an epidemic. Well, it's taped together. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I'll come back to that one, but microorganisms. <laughs> that was a key to something. Electrical tape. <laughs> I don't know why they put electrical tape in here. That's interesting. Here is some more personal stuff. Well, the 2004 edition of this workbook, the Fast Track workbook. Uh, they won't keep any cash in here. No, nope. it's too bad. <laughs> oh, here's the the lab kit that probably goes with that. This one has oh, it has a dissecting kit. And a specimen. I wonder what specimen would have been in here. This. If I can't get it open, we'll cut away and then we'll come back to it. Oh, here it is. Oh, not bad. Oh, when I was a kid, we had a microscope set, much like this one. Well, this one comes with honeybee. Oh, there's actually a honeybee in there. See him? Yeah, he's in there. 
and this one is Canada balsam. All right, and there's lens covers and slides and a microscope and all your poking and prodding tools. Neat. <laughs> Sure, what that's worth. That's kind of scientific y. This is Air Flight Gift Collection. Let's see what kind of gifts someone got. Oh, interesting. It's a star. The Dean's Choice Award. Oh, someone got the Dean's Choice Award. Let's see, oh, it doesn't have. Oh, it's got a name on it, though. It's someone's, someone's name from Lansing Community College. So it's a big star. I can't imagine someone would want to buy something that has their, someone else's name printed on it or etched in it. So this has got some awards on it. This is Things Remembered is probably another award. Oh, there we go. It's a flask with some initials on it. I can't quite tell it's I and a D and then maybe another D there. But hey, you know, nothing in there. Too bad. Nice little flask. So if you know anyone's getting married and their initials are IDD or something, hey, there you go. That was really popular, I think, in the 80s and the 90s. It gives your groomsmen flasks. Then it started. Hey, uh, we're now uh, got a mini disc of Led Zeppelin, which is interesting. The mini disc has been out of production for a long. It was only in production really for a short time, and. Uh, I had a mini disc clear, so when we go through the storage locker, maybe there'll be one in there. So we got one, only one in there. There's this thing. I wasn't quite sure exactly what this is for. It's used to store something. You close it up. Probably something really bad. I'm just too naive to know. Here's some uh, French phrases and sentences. So come in handy for my daughter who's taking French. Oh yeah, French flashcards. Made in St. Louis, Missouri, the uh, French capital of America. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Moving on. So it's name tag. Japanese conversation book. Yeah, being rent a car in Japan. Well, it'll take you forever to have a conversation in Japan in Japanese trying to figure that out. It's another fast track book uh, about business. Someone's taking a business class, it looks like. Oh, there's a French system here, French CDs. And then some books. Wow. Well, it has a barcode, so it's not that old. And then there's a few other books here. It looks like textbooks. There's How to Improve Student Learning with Dirty Practical Ideas. Hmm, I'm a teacher. Maybe I will figure that out. All right. And then Educational Fads. <laughs> yeah, we know about educational fads. Um... Something about the American Community College. I don't know. This is probably a pretty old book, though. But someone thought it was worthwhile keeping. And then, hey, everybody, remember dictionaries? <laughs> here's here's an old old school app right here of, of a dictionary. It's probably got all kinds of interesting old pictures and all those flags of the world. Scientific terms. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got an interesting odor to it. <laughs> It smells a little bit like uh, Elmer's Blue. And then here's another dictionary. Hope somebody would keep some uh, hundred dollar bills maybe in here. Oh, the Encarta English Dictionary. Yeah, that's a, they're as big as, uh, this one's a little bit newer. Yeah, old school encyclopedia and dictionary. Oh, yeah, maybe that's the hundred dollar bill I was looking for. No, I think it was someone just bookmarking a page. Well, that's everything from the locker, pretty much everyone. Well, thanks, thanks for what. Got to say thanks for watching. So, thanks for watching.